Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So Holy Spirit, we invite you this morning and we worship you with all of our hearts.
Do y'all hear me? Amen. Wherever the spirit is, there is freedom. Do you believe that this morning? Do you praise like that? Do you praise the Lord like there is freedom in your house, like there is freedom in your spirit, like there is freedom in your life, like there's, spirit, there's freedom in your family? Do you praise the Lord like there is freedom? Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give God another shout of praise this morning. Wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Prison gates open, chains break and fall down to the ground. Amen. If there's anything holding you down, if you have a burden in your heart, if you have something that you've been struggling with during a season of your, in your life, God has come to defeat that for you so that those chains can break down and never again come back on you and bring you down in the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to take time to, to welcome all of our visitors this morning. Do we have any first-time visitors here at Rock of Ages this morning? If you can please just raise your hand nice and high so that we can give you some information. We have a young lady right over here. If we could please give her our, our gift for you. Thank you, sister, for joining us this morning. I pray the Lord will bless your heart this morning. Thank you so much for, for being here. Do we have any other first-time visitors here? Just raise your hand nice and high. You don't have to be shy. We just want to give you something and embrace you and, and reach out to you during the week. Amen. If you're also viewing for the first time, go ahead and comment below that you're viewing for the first time. Or you can go to our website and fill out a connect card so that we can continue to reach out to you and continue to pray for you. And just anything that you need, we're here to serve our community. Amen. So go ahead and comment that below or, again, go to our website. If you are viewing through our social media platforms, go ahead and share this live stream with your friends and your family. Let's try to reach as many people as we can as we continue to worship the Lord this morning. Are you all ready to step into his presence? Are you all ready to step into his presence? Because he is here. Scripture says that he never leaves us. He's always there. He never leaves us. You may feel like he's not hearing you, but he's making things work together for your good. And if you're struggling with something today, maybe this whole year has been a year of, of struggle, a year of concern, a year of fear, of fear. But you're here. You are still here. You are still faithful to a God that is faithful to you. And we're here to rise up and rebuild. Whatever this year tore down, we're here to rebuild. Whatever this year tore down in your family, we're here to rebuild. Whatever this year came to tear down in your finances, we're here to rebuild. Scripture tells us that when the altar of the Lord was rebuilt, the city still laid in ruins and the wall was still broken down in rubble and the gates were still burnt down to the ground. But there was a remnant that came back. And you are here, you came back. And you that are viewing, you are here and you are coming back. There is a remnant that rebuilt the walls. Nehemiah went back and he took those people and they began to build that wall little by little, stone by stone, gate by gate. And they did not fear and they did not hold back and they did not stop. Even though they, fa they faced opposition, they faced ridicule, they faced fear, they faced threat. They continued to build that wall because those people needed that protection. If you are a father or a mother right now and you feel torn down and you need to stand up and rise up so that you can bring that protection to your children, you need to rise up and begin to rebuild. Whatever the, this year has taken from you, you need to go back and take it back. These people began to rebuild one sword in one hand and material for the wall on the other hand, and they never stopped. And when Nehemiah saw that they were afraid, he got them together and he said, do not be afraid. Remember, we have an awesome and great God. Praise him like you know that you have an awesome and praise God. And he said, fight for your families, fight for your people. Fight for your house, fight for your finances, fight for your marriage, fight for your children, fight for your job, fight for your community, fight for this church. We are here to rise up. If you are still here, when so many fell out of hope, when so many fell out of faith, and we have a lot of 
missing chairs in this place. We have a lot of missing people. You are here. And we're here to be and called to be rise up for the Lord and rebuild what the Lord has given us. We're going to see a victory. Continue to walk around those walls. You're going to see them fall down. Amen. Praise the Lord like you mean it. Continue to praise him this morning. We lift up your hands as we sing this next song. We're going to see a victory.
for your glory be lifted high be lifted high be lifted high for your glory be lifted high sing it again be lifted high be lifted high for your glory For your glory be lifted high. Oh, for your glory, Lord.
through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you. And through it all, through it all is well. And through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you. It is well. And through it all, through it all, it is.